So just another quick video about some added feature in the custom buttons, also labeled as the user buttons here in Virtual DJ. And it's a little bit hidden, so maybe it's easy to miss. So as you probably know, you've got the four custom buttons on each deck and you've got a slider. And you use those to add your own uh, script uh, that you can then trigger in Virtual DJ. So for instance, I add something that starts the, the echo effect like this. I give the name like that, and I can now play it and use it. Like you probably already know. And of course you can do that on all four buttons and on the on the slider in this again. But you can actually also add more stuff to each button. So if I right click this again to go into the editor, I can press the little plus down here and then I get an empty editor. So now I can for instance put in something that, that triggers, sorry, something that triggers the reverb like that, and then they will reverb. So now I've got a reverb. But the interesting part is that I can when I right click that and it gives me a drop down. So I have both scripts available to me. So if I play the track, play reverb, like what you would expect, then I can actually leave that on, select the other one, and then also trigger that. And I'll have both of them, as you can see over here in the FX exit. So that, that lets you add even more stuff to the custom buttons and then simply uh, choose between what you want to be able to trigger at any given moment. And of course, you can go back into the editor down here and you can change them or you can even remove the ones you don't want like that.